Sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, just getting some work finished now. Um, I'll be right with you. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Staffy K, your host. And I'm so sorry, I've been away for a little while and I'm gonna be completely honest with you and tell you what's happened. Okay. And the truth is that I discovered Cheetos. And so I've spent the last 13 days getting my fingers dirty. Oh. And I now know that you search through the whole bag to find that one wet, disgustery, what? saturated log of cheese. And it was my first time. I was a Cheeto virgin before 13 days ago. Oh. And then I've spent the whole time, like, look, I'm, I'm surrounded by fucking Cheeto bags. And... I, I don't know how to tell you this, but around here, it seems to be a problem. People are lining up at, at the supermarkets, their fingers are all disgusting and dirty, and they're like, <laughs> craving, just, it's, it's awful, until they get their fix, and then they're away for half an hour, and then they're back again. And I've turned into one of those Cheeto junkies. So that's where I've been. Thank you for putting up with the time without me here. All right, so as you can tell by that amazing intro, we are going to be talking about... It's Lindo, baby! But we're going to be using his real name. Fuck, it feels like a long time since I've done this. Matthew Edwin Lindo. Woo! So different than um, Matt Lindo. You already knew his name, whatever. Matthew Edwin Lindo was born in May of 1998 in Queens, New York. Attended the school Fort Pierce Central High and grew up in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Something that seems to be a common thread of these D-list social media influencers is skateboarding from a young age. And Matthew was no different, creating a YouTube channel called Matt Lindo on July of 2011, when Matthew was just 14 years old. It was here he would practice not only his skateboarding, but his love for editing, which would grow into what we know and love today on the new Matt Lindo channel. The old channel showed a bright spark of a youngster who needed no help with his ego or charisma. He showed a lot of promise for the skateboarding sport as well. I don't want to post any like dumb like pointless gay videos, I like post good stuff. Matthew would graduate from Fort Pierce Central High School, but unfortunately that same year and around the same time as graduation, things would be tainted by Matthew's first criminal charge, sexual cyber harassment, also known as revenge porn. Matthew would continue to grow his second channel, also titled Matt Lindo, and would upload different kinds of videos, such as hair tutorials, pranks, and music. His current following today on this channel is just over 90,000 subscribers. Matthew's music career is fairly extensive, having created just under 40 tracks on SoundCloud and has over 3,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, with some fans claiming that specific tone in his voice is similar to that of YNW Melly. I ran into the door of my dreams And he said everything is still not what it seems Matthew started his TikTok account in August of 2020 and at the time of making this video has a following of 4,400,000 followers. Although it is common public contention me? whether this following is organic or not. Last time I checked, I was on live. Hey, how, how you got 4 million followers but I got more views on my live? How that make sense, man? The videos here focus on such things as gold digger pranks and public questionnaires. Okay, that brings us to today and Matthew's views are in terrible decline which you know i shouldn't be smiling but i am Bruh. and his lives are about as interactive as this teddy bear and they're about as tasteless as shooting a music video at your best friend's vigil <laughs> who would do that <sighs> shout out to check my star i'm a big fan of your show i must say <laughs> now, while I was researching for this video a long time ago, I did get sprung. I wasn't using my normal troll account, which is what I do when I'm having a little <laughs> peekaboo at these guys. And someone in the live actually spotted me and realized that what I'd said in the Enzo video was maybe coming to fruition. And they told Linto that Staffy K is making a video on you. And he got a little bit scared and then tried to tell me his life story and I, I, i'm gonna be real with you bro i kind of like my name to be good I, 
I personally don't. I don't have videos of of, of the, uh, like that of me, and I like to keep it that way. But I've got to say, um, I don't feel sorry for you. Of, of, of the, uh, and how about we look at this as my revenge porn to you? <laughs> So here we go, Lindo. I thought we could talk about these gold digger pranks that he loves to upload on TikTok, especially. You're a gold digger. There, I think there might be one or two on YouTube, but he does delete videos on YouTube like you wouldn't believe. I think he even realizes he's cringe sometimes, which is interesting, being self-aware. You know, not many of these guys are, so kudos to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. While some of these videos do get a substantial amount of views, they do only get a few comments, like the same amount of comments as carrots Enzo could fit in his ass. <gasps> like 10, 15 maybe. Enzo, how many do you do? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell me, do you think he's done it more than once? What the fuck you talking about, bitch? Something to think about. I need carrots in there, man. A lot of people think it's a little suspicious. The 4 million followers, then he might get 16,000 views on a video, then he might get 10 or 15 comments, and it's, you know, it's very suspicious. I didn't make this, man. But anyway, the contents of these gold digger pranks are really the problem. Never mind the views. The contents, the fucked part. They all have the same moral of the story. And that moral is, if you lean against an old car and you ask a girl, Hey, you want to have sex with me? Uh, I don't think I can. I'm kind of busy. <laughs> and she might say no. But then you walk over to a slightly more expensive car and she realizes that oh you're not driving that car you're driving this car she'll come running spinning her running? underwear above her head oh i'm so down to fuck now because this car is more expensive therefore you earn more money that's the moral of the story guys if you can work it out good on you they all make about as much sense and are just as painful as pissing on an electric fence These pranks don't always go to plan, of course, because I think Lindo might be maybe the only person in the world at this point, every now and then, not completely staging the pranks. In one video, he drops a few bands. What? Bands. I'm turning into one of these idiots now saying bands. He drops a few thousand dollars on the ground, and I think it's at Walmart. The lady picks it up, and then he walks back to say he dropped something, and she does the right thing of saying, I have to hand this into my manager just in case. I have to call my manager and tell him I found it. And Mr. Matthew now realizing that things aren't going to plan, and his thousands of dollars, whether it be real or fake, will be handed to a manager. But it's mine decides to just grab the money and run off. And I really like this video. It's very genuine. Okay. And it just shows things don't always go, you know, how you thought, but they can still end up brilliant. You can tell by the look on his face that he's so proud of it as well. And I don't think this was planned because if it was, you know, the old lady would probably end up coming back to his pad, his sex house, you know, because that's what happens in all of his videos, you know, and he'd get to write his name on her ass, you know, because that's his signature move. So I don't think this one was planned. A lot of the times these videos say there's going to be a part two and you need to follow to watch part two and there's next to never a part two, which thank fuck there's not because they're always shit. The dumber and dumber the videos get, the higher the views seem to go. So if he is not just driving an expensive car and trying to, you know, make a girl look like she's a gold digger, even though he paid her to do the fucking video, it's so ironic. He's also done videos where he glues money all over the car to make it look like the car's worth even more money now. Like, can you see how much money I'm worth? Yeah. And those videos get the most views. Of course they do. It's TikTok. It's for stupid people and children. 
of course. Now there is one particular young lady that just so happens to star in all of Matthew's old pranks and her name is Kayla Thaler. What's up y'all, it's your girl Kayla Thaler. Now Kayla has a YouTube channel all of her own and she does similar things to Linda, or at least she used to. She does pranks, okay. she does hair tutorials too. And also, she teaches people how to talk like Enzo. How to speak in Florida 101. Which is the weirdest thing ever. Please don't do that. Please. No more. We don't need any more people who we cannot understand at all. Okay? Hey, man, you green in hell. He's saying you fly as hell. Please stop. Now look, in all honesty, she does seem like a nice person and I'm not sure what she's doing hanging around with these idiots, but that's what she's decided to do. But Matthew decided to play a particularly mean prank on her. We're doing like a cheating prank. Now, what he did was he pretended to be having sex with another girl. We need to make sure this is a good angle. While he was dating Kayla. So the whole prank was, I'm I'm gonna fuck my friend and we'll see what happens. I don't even know what to expect. What do you think's gonna happen, guys? He went all in on this one to truly make her believe that um, he was cheating on her. And it worked. Yeah! Amazing. Yeah! What an amazing prank. How difficult is that? He stops answering her phone calls to make her think that he's up to something, which he is. It's just that he's making a video to make her think that he's having sex with someone. He's not actually having sex with someone. That's why it's a prank. That's why he's a genius and I'm not, okay? That's the joke. And everything went to plan. The hidden cameras were all in place. Kayla and Matthew's friend lays down in the bed to make it look like Matthew's just inseminated her. Next, the sperm must pass through the cervix, an opening into the uterus. Matthew goes into the bathroom with his shirt off to make it look like it's been a particularly hard and long session that they've had. And then Kayla walks in and what a dumbass. She thinks they've just had sex. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. So she's fucking crying. Kayla, you stupid bitch. How could you possibly think that? And then she cries. Can you believe it? This girl actually cried. I think that's what Matt was expecting the audience to think and I didn't think that when I was watching it I thought this is a really poor girl and I'm I feel sorry for her that she's had to experience this fucking idiot of a boyfriend and I hope he never has another girlfriend again. And even the fucking grandma fell for it, which is the most hilarious thing of all because grandma just wants to kick Matthew out of the house. I don't give a shit. And with good reason, like imagine these dickheads doing this shit all the time. Like all the things that he has deleted now or he didn't even upload. Think about all those. Think about how many times grandma got tricked into thinking that her husband was fucking someone. Maybe even Matthew. Maybe he deleted a prank that was called I fucked my grandpa, grandma cries prank gone wrong. You know, like, who knows with this guy? He's full of amazing jokes. Now, I'm not sure what the purpose of this video was, but I think his purpose was to teach us all a lesson. And the reason that I have come to that conclusion is what he wrote in the description. I'm going to read that for you now. Kayla catches me cheating on her with my female best friend, Jada. Her reaction is not what I expected. It hurts me to see her cry this way, but this video just opens my eyes on how how much she really cares for me. It also shows how cheating can really hurt a female. For anyone watching this video, I hope that this video motivates you to treat your girl right because girls are delicate. What? Anyway, maybe that's just one of the reasons why she decided to leave Matthew and go and hang out with our buddy Enzo. Not that far. Oh, no, I don't I'm a sex ass nigga though. Fuck you talking about bitch. Now, all jokes aside, this has made little Matthew very, very sad to see his girl with Enzo. Y'all link up to try and get me mad. All my mother oh. you do. How long have you been friends with Kayla? That's your sister, yeah, right? 
Matt is very protective of Kayla, but in a way that just basically means no one else is allowed to have this girl except for me. And if you do go anywhere near her, I will get very upset with you because she's my property. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Kayla, go and do whatever you want and ignore this fool, please. Okay, now let's go over to Matthew's music. I thought we could revisit the song Tarm Bout because it is Enzo and Lindo together. And I thought we could also feature me. So it'll be Nantha Thoa Enzo featuring Lindo and Staffy K. Let's have a go. Pussy ass niggas, 954 Enzo, what you talking about? What you talking about? And stop playing. Huh. Hey, what the fuck you really talking about? I'm just really trying to make it, trying to make my mama proud. I'm in LA right now. Drop the pin, we can lean right now. Starting from the bottom, now I'm up, now. Everybody watching, they some sad clowns. Hey, what the fuck you really talking about? I'm just really trying to make it, trying to make my mama proud. I'm on the 954 in the flow. And that bitch is hey, man, she wanna fuck on the floor. Bro, oh. Bitch, hey, come suck this dick. Hey. Yeah, hey, I'm rubbing on her clit. clit. She can see me in the dime, yeah, cause I'm getting rich. rich. Yeah. And you know I'm getting paid. Hey. That's your bitch, and why she all up on my page. Okay, like I said before, Matthew gets about 3,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. And the reason for that is pretty much three songs that he's done. Mr. Lindo's biggest hit is called Baby girl and in the music video it features actual children which i find very very strange especially when there's like a certain juxtaposition with him talking about like putting a wedding ring on the girl's finger and like leaning against a lambo and then at the same time he has like a little boy like singing the lyrics It's just very, very strange. It is definitely music aimed for children, and he does have a nice tone in his voice. I like it. But if you're older than the kids in the video, then you're probably not gonna like it. And you're probably gonna feel a little bit awkward listening to it. Another one of Matthew's big hits is called Blushing. And I was certainly blushing when I heard that song. He got me. I felt it creepy. You know, my cheeks were starting to get red and everything. And then I turned it off because I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed to listen any further because it's garbage. And if anyone heard you listening to it, you know, you'd be even more embarrassed. Okay, I know we're all feeling a little shy after that last bit. So let's finish this shit right up. Lindo, you keep doing what you're doing. I am sure pranks will come back in fashion again. I'm sure Kayla will eventually come back to you. And I am sure the next time you go live, you will have more than 10 people watching. See, that is how you know you're good at sarcasm. If you couldn't tell just now that I was being sarcastic, I'm pretty good at it. I made myself blush this time. What a guy. Okay. Now listen, we need to have a chat. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the fuck is wrong with you? Press the little tiny button. I'm here all the time. You're here all the time. Press it. If you don't press it, you're a bad person. I said it. You're a terrible shit person. <laughs> Just subscribe, okay? Just subscribe. All right. See you on the next one. Bye. Oh, yeah, and like it as well. Like it. Smash it. Smash the like. Oh, and comment as well. Don't forget to comment. Comment, subscribe, like. All three. Do all three. And, and I'll be happy. You might be happy as well. Okay, now. Uh, and the notification bell press it why not right you've already liked commented and subscribed you let it come down and then the notification bell is there you press that so that when i go live because i do that all the time you'll be there with me you'll be able to talk to me it'll be interactive okay bye I love you. Goodbye.